Tifu by saying I love you to another woman. Tifu by saying I love you to another woman. Obligatory this happened today so it's still fresh, 20 minutes ago fresh so I'm still as red as a tomato. I'm at work and I'm talking to my fiancé over the phone. It's quiet and she's bored at home and just wants a chat. My work phone starts ringing and I need to answer it, it's another depot. I tell my fiancé I've got to go my phone's ringing and she says ok and the phone cuts off. I pause for a moment, she never hangs up without saying I love you. I think maybe she pressed the button a bit too fast or something. I pick up the work phone. Hash I love you. There's a pause for a moment, in reality it probably was only a second maybe not even that but to me it felt like the longest second of my life, my mind racing trying to think of what to say next, I had nothing. Erm, shit. No I meant hello. I was talking to my fiancé and I meant to say that to her. An eruption of laughter bellows from the handset. Turns out she has me on speakerphone. I can't believe it honestly, it's like my brain had that queued up to say next and I couldn't do anything to stop it, I was going to say I love you and that was that. DL, DR accidentally said I love you instead of hello to a work colleague who happened to have me on speaker for the whole office and our customers to hear. The laughter already means it's forgiven and you love them. Your tiffu sounds more like, today I made everyone's day, except my own. My husband did that recently to another dude at work because he'd just been talking to me, and the entire office heard, lol. They kept telling him they loved him for the next month. You already know your colleagues are going to say I love you at you going forward. So you just have to start saying I love you to every time. And then one day someone won't say I love you because they're new here and they weren't around when this happened, and you'll still say I love you too without thinking because you're so used to it after all these years, and they'll think you are being passive aggressive and try to just ignore it, but they'll feel bad about it because they think they did something wrong, and they won't leave the company over it but your relationship will always be kind of distant and impersonal and you won't really understand why. Or it'll just blow over in a few weeks. Op and work phone sitting in a tree. Welcome to Costco, I love you. Own it. Do it as an opener to anyone calling you from work now. Like honestly it's the kind of work people will love and remember you for, which could turn into promotions and other benefits down the line. Don't doubt it. I've seen people become execs in our company with less. Double down, up. Now say it every time but follow immediately with your normal greeting then end the call with another I love you. Spread that love. I suppose you're allowed to be embarrassed for a few minutes, but come on that's hilarious. I did something similar. I was talking to my good college buddy on the phone. I was in the car with my wife, talking over the car speakerphone. As the conversation was winding down with my friend, my brain kinda morphed worlds together. I was looking at my wife, while talking to my friend. At the end of phone conversations with my wife I always end it with, I love you. So I blurted that, out as we were hanging up. To which he responded, air. Alright see ya had to text him later that day to explain. We got a kick out of the whole thing. This reminds me so bad of this one episode of Spongebob when Patrick tried to sell chocolate to this one random person and said, I love you. Did that once with my warehouse manager. He told me that he thought highly of me but wasn't sure it was love. This might help. I once saw my phone slip out of my pocket and fall into the toilet as I was about to flush. I could have stopped my hand's movement. I remember the moment clearly. But my mind had already decided to finish the action. And so I flushed and hoped the little guy would be there at the bottom of the bowl. Don't know why. Because it wouldn't have worked again. But it wasn't. It was a small enough model and a powerful enough toilet to take him away from me and onto a much different life. 
I love you, you're on speakerphone, oh, I'm sorry. I love y'all. Welcome to the human race. In which every member owns a brain. And sometimes the other way around. And sometimes does things automatically that are not at all called for. That laughter was a tribal recognition of your status as a member of the faulty. Flawed. And ultimately lovable human race. Be embarrassed. Feel the feelings. And rejoice that you are that sensitive. I would have laughed. Too. This is not a foo. It's an honest mistake. Don't be hard on yourself. If anything the woman will think you're a romantic guy. Well if anyone on the call was having a bad day you just made their day better. I doubt you will ever live this down. My brain has a mind of its own. I think I would have doubled down and greeted everyone with, I love you. I love these kinds of fuck ups. A co-worker said this to a technician over the phone once by accident. He laughed and goes, thanks. I love you too. I mean, to be fair, there are much worse things you can say. I love you is pretty wholesome. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.